Gotham Knights is coming to HBO Max! Hey everyone, this is James, and you're watching Digital Charcuterie. Big shout out to all of our new subscribers over the past little while. It has been wonderful to see. I keep saying it, but I keep meaning it. It's fantastic. Thanks so much for coming along and talking all of this awesome superhero stuff with us. It's a lot of fun. Today I gotta talk about, we gotta talk about Gotham Knights. It's coming to HBO Max. This is coming from Nick Santos of the Hashtag Show. So, if you're like, oh, is this legit? It is as legit as legit can be. Until, of course, you know, Warner Brothers shuts it down. Gotham Knights movie is in early development at HBO Max. This is coming off the heels of what Nick Santos has been reporting for a while now, that Dylan O'Brien will be debuting as Dick Grayson Nightwing in the Batgirl movie. That's right, he's gonna be in it possibly end credit scene only. Dylan O'Brien has been denying this for a while now. Uh, he's been doing his best Andrew Garfield, but the reality is it looks like this is gonna happen. The end credit scene, post credit scene will reveal Dick Grayson Nightwing. Maybe earlier on in the film, but right now it's being loosely rumored reported that it will be an end credit scene and this is super exciting because we heard a little while ago that there was belief that dc had their crap together there was a belief that they knew what they were doing that there was some structure going on the snyderverse was not anymore unfortunately you know and then you have the reeves verse over here and then all the other stuff and it seemed all scattered around but there was a reassurance and then all the delays had us unassured we were like what's going on you just told us you had your crap together and now you're dropping a bombshell on us like this. But it turns out that all roads are leading to the Gotham Knight movie at HBO Max, which if you've been watching this channel, you know that Scotty Hawk, our good friend Scotty Hawk over at Hawk's Holocron, has been saying this for quite some time, that he thought the Batgirl movie was step one, phase one, in this Gotham Knights. And it makes complete sense to do so. That would give you, of course, Nightwing. It would give you Red Hood and Batgirl all teaming up. The ga video game is coming out in October. The Hashtag Show has reported before that a Red Hood movie is also in development, so that is not a surprise there that you'd have these characters coming together. They're saying that at some point you're gonna learn more about Dick Grayson and Nightwing and all that, whether it's a movie or just in Batgirl, who knows? Something fun's coming. I think there's gonna be an announcement on the Dick Grayson Nightwing thing very soon. Here where, here's where it gets to be a lot of fun. We've been seeing the concept art for the Deathstroke from the unmade Batman movie for Ben Affleck, but now it looks like Deathstroke is going to be an antagonist in this Gotham Knights movie. Apparently, a major Batman villain is going to get killed. Sha sha! Dead! And the Gotham Knights have to solve this mystery of who the murderer was. And while they're trying to solve this mystery, Deathstroke is running around trying to kill the Gotham Knights. So there's a mystery, and you're being chased. And, let's not forget, Michael Keaton's Batman might make an appearance in this movie. He signed on for three movies. This could be the third and final one. What if, this is probably a big what if, but what if it's not a villain that gets killed? What if it is Michael Keaton's Batman? Michael Keaton's Batman dies, and that's what sparks the Gotham Knights that's what's happening in this video game. Maybe they are utilizing that story point and putting it on film. But either way, this is very exciting news. It really seems like things are starting to heat up over there. It looks like the DCEU on HBO Max really has found its groove. Peacemaker was phenomenal, and we're going to be getting Batgirl. And it looks like Batgirl is going to spark a whole new universe for us, and I'm very excited to see where that goes. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited for Gotham Knights? Do you care? Do you think this could revive the DCEU, at least television-wise? But we have Peacemaker and then the Penguin Show, which will be separate. But do you have confidence in this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.